Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can determine quartiles, decentiles, percentiles or in general quantiles using Microsoft Excel and using their built-in functions uh, so this will only work with n uh, numerical data. Um, I have a separate video where I explain how you can use my add-in uh, which has a ton more options and can also deal with non-numerical data uh, but this is the one that is simply using Excel only. Um, to show you how this works, I have a little bit of an example date, so here are some numbers. And the first thing I of course need to do is which um, quartile or which quantile do I actually want. So for quartiles, for example, I set it to 4 because I want 4 things, so I want it divided by 4. And then simply the proportion will be at 25%. If you want quintiles, you change this to simply 5 and uh, if you want decentiles you change it to 10 and if you want um, uh, percentiles you simply change it to 100 and actually you can put in a small index here uh, that can keep on going and then you simply multiply the proportion by that index so this is the first percentile and if you have quartiles then this will be the first quartile all right um, so let's show that function over there so that's this one then Excel has a few different built-in functions. Um, two are quite of interest here. Uh, there is percentile X, which is the exclusive one, and the percentile inclusive one, which is also the one used in earlier versions of Excel. You simply feed it the data, so in this case here are these, and then I'm using a semicolon, but in your system it might be a comma, uh, to separate parameters, and then you give it the proportion and that gives you then the requested percentile. Um, for quartiles it's a little bit different. There's a separate function even for quartiles where you can simply say which quartile you want. I think you can even choose a zero for minimum. No you can't. Um, can you choose four for maximum? No. So only one, two, three or four. So three gives you the third quartile which should be here if we change this to three, the third one. As you can see, it's the same, it's using by default the exclusive option. Um, if you use Quartel exclusive, if you use Quartel inclusive, then of course it will give you, if I change this to, I want to see the third quartile, it's using the inclusive method, so the same as over here with percentile. You can also use the older Quartel functions, which is Quartile, and then do the same, so I simply want these and I wanted the third quartile, so that gives you the 15.75. Um, if you have the second quartile, that should be the same as the median, so if we change this to let's say 2, then you get the same result as if you would get with the median. It simply gives you an indication of, it should be that about, in this case, for the median it's 50%, and if we're using quarters and we want the first quarter, it should be 25%, that 25% of all the scores is equal or lower to that percentile, so in this case 8.5 or 7.5. Uh, with larger data sets, the difference is usually not that big. Uh, with small data sets uh, it can have a difference and besides the two versions that Excel has there are actually a lot of other methods as well. Um, in another video I'll show you how you can do about 20 different options. Alright, um, hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching. 